you guys need any cards, packs, sleeves, anything of that nature, shop on TCG Player using my affiliate link in the description. What's going on guys, with everyone messing around with various Norlaris builds, I'd figure I'd build another one that I've kind of been thinking about um, for a while. Uh, I just sort of didn't explore it too much because I wasn't, I didn't think too highly of the Norlaris strategy, but um, the tides seem to have changed on that one, so we're going to be showing off today my Norlaris hero build. I'm sure someone else has probably thought of something pretty similar to this with Bubble Man. Basically, we're playing all the standard Norlers cards and then a hero package. Um, so basically, Stratos gets you into Malicious, which is great with Dark Greffer. And then also you play Bubble Mans, which are great for after Norlers. If you draw this or E-Call Rota, search this, then special, then just draw two. Um, and then Plasma also is just an eight that you can grab for trade-in. Um, you don't generally summon it too much, but I think it's worth it just to have the eight that you can grab for trade-in. And also, it's got like a decent effect for Phantom of Chaos to copy as well. One thing I want to note is uh, in the replay that I played, I didn't have Dad in the deck. Instead, I had Treacherous, so I just figured I would point that out. You should definitely play Dad. Um, Dad is a lot better. Um, but I just figured I'd point it out before someone in the comment section like says, oh, it was a bit different in the duel. Yeah, it was, uh, it was that one, one card. I don't know. I just forgot about Dad. How, how <laughs> Kind of questionable, actually, given that it's probably the best card in the entire deck. But, yeah, spell lineup's pretty crazy. I mean, Miracle Fusion's an insane top deck, of course, off Norlers, um, just puts you in a crazy, strong position. We've got all the draw power, got the gold sarks, um, pretty good in Norlers decks in general, and then also great for getting Bubble Ban live. Um, and of course, got Future Fusion, max out on E-Call Rota so we can have the, the meme with Bubble Man. And then Giant Trunade Heavy Storm is the only sweepers. I didn't put Cold Wave in the main. I don't think it's very good because we're playing all these... There's a lot of spells you just want to resolve. Like all these search things that you find off the top where it's just like you want to use them right away. And Miracle Fusion. And it's already already kind of questionable with the draw power, but I think in standard normal Norlers, uh, Cold Wave is pretty good. So we threw it in the side instead. Um, anyway, yeah. That is uh, the list. And it looks like... Well, frankly, it looks pretty toxic, but we're going to be playing it anyway, so yeah. <laughs> All right, going first, let's see if we can open the hand. And this is pretty good. Probably, okay, we drew the plasma. Um, So I could trade in first just to see if I draw into Phantom. And after that, we're probably gonna wanna summon Stratos. Oh, we did draw into Phantom. That's pretty good. <laughs> That's pretty good, what can I say? Um, Yeah, we're gonna special out Greffer. We're gonna send... Do you want to send Mali or Plague here? Um, I guess Plague, probably. Yeah, we're going to do the thing. I'm sorry, opponent. I feel bad. I feel bad. I think... Okay, Geki Break. I wonder what they're playing. Oh, they're playing Frogs. Never mind. They deserve it. <laughs> Oh, they get Treeborn. They can't even complain. They're doing fine. <laughs> They're doing completely fine. Let's see if I can draw Bubble Man. No, we draw another Norlaris. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and trade in that straight away. Um, Huh. It's not so good. <laughs> well, actually... Never mind, it's very good. What am I talking about? <laughs> Let's go for Plague Spreader. And then we can go for Malicious. Alright. We send you. We send you. We do this thing. Then I guess... I guess we just attack with both do 800 damage, and then they're talking. Okay. So we can make probably just Stardust. We don't have Thought Ruler. It's probably just Stardust. We saw they were on Geki Rake earlier, too. So, yeah, I think that's right. And then in two turns, we get an Ab Zero, which is pretty good all our miracles are live as well now we try the third norlaris what the hell um i'm not even sure i want to attack that set monster because if it's a dupe that just gives him a search 
But maybe I should just to clear it so I can start threatening damage. Alright, I'll attack it. I'll attack it, fine. It was a fire dog. They're playing Flamville frogs. Is this the build with Frost and Flame Dragon? That's hella based. Okay. Uh, so what are they going to make a level 5 here? That's weird. Maybe they have Rekindling. Although if they do, they should conserve it until after they out the Ab Zero. Or, yeah. So I'm not sure that I like this play by them. I definitely don't like this play by them, actually. Yeah, you should just wait, dude. You've used all your cards now, and they're all going to just trade with the one Ab Zero. Maybe they forgot about the Necrogarden as well. Because that is... Um, it's definitely something scary for them. Alright, we Gardena. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe they should have just conserved that whole hand. I'm not actually sure what the correct play was for them, to be real. Alright, this Bubble Man is like... Whoops. This Bubble Man is kind of too late to do anything, right? Our Plague is gone. We can't get this Norlaris out of our hand. Just kind of a useless Bubble Man. <laughs> Um, I can pump the Ab Zero to 3k, though, and then it can get over the Thought Rule. Okay, you know what? This Bubble Man's actually pretty based. <laughs> I was upset about the Bubble Man, but never mind. The Bubble Man was good. Um, we attack with you, use the effect. And then we hit it to you. We hit it to you. And uh, I don't know how the opponent ever comes back from this point. Seems difficult. Maybe another rekindling into Mistworm. That would that'd be pretty good. That would be pretty good. Outside of that, though, I'm not seeing it. All right, they have junk. That can make them a Goyo. I should edit this, even though it's probably about to be different. So yeah, what's their plus best play? Goyo takes Stardust? And then, yeah, just Goyo takes Stardust. That's that's what they have to do. Junk Synchron was a pretty good top deck for them, though. It's probably one of the better ones they had available. And then you go back to 33,000. All right, draw. We find Miracle Fusion. That's pretty good. I'm not sure I should fire it yet, though. Maybe I should. I can force out the Stardust Negation is the thing. Actually, I could just make a second one with the Graveyard Materials. Miracle Fusion was a pretty nuts draw, actually. <laughs> Alright. The attack over everything. This Bubble Man boosting up these Ab Zeros has been pretty freaking clutch. Okay, they scoop it. Um, we have Mask of Restrict, I guess. Whoops. And Deck Dev. And I think that's all we care about. Probably. I could maybe side out some number of Sark going second, but I think Sark is a little bit too integral to what we're doing here. Maybe just don't side deck dev with Mask of Restrict. That seems a little throwy, actually. <laughs> Let's do this instead. Imagine. I know it would happen to me. I know for sure it would. <laughs> be like flip mask or restrict then I'd draw into my deck dev be god damn it why alright they got a swap frog unable to keep him off treeborn in any of these games feels bad I guess 
All right, we draw. Let's see, we can go Greffers and Norlurus attack. I think that's what we're doing. Oh, I could have pitched Gores to special. Now I kind of like this line better, actually. It's let, it lets me like potentially get value out of Gores because that that play would just lose so hard to DD Crow. Whereas now, you know, they go for it, maybe, and then I get to Gores them, and we can like pressure with that. Okay, they have a fire dog. Oh, <sighs> okay, we take two hundred. Hmm. Maybe I should have just gone for it. I don't know. I don't hate this. Uh, there's no point in dropping Gores. So I'm going to hold it. Okay, they're making a 5. This means there's probably no back row. Or they would have just gone Stardust. Which makes sense because there's no back row turn 1 either. Alright, you know what? Let's just go for it. Try the Norlurus. And then I could stack the Gores here if I wanted, but I think I'd rather just... I think I'd rather just leave the Plague. Alright. The Phantom's gonna do some work here. And we get to draw. Oh my god, is that live? No, it's dead! <laughs> Oh, we were one dark short. That's so tragic. Okay. Well, let's see what the opponent's got. Treeborn's a pretty silly card, so they're up on card advantage now. Let me see. Oh, wow. That was an insane draw for the opponent. Okay. I mean, how do we outdo block? Presumably there's a way. Dark armed, maybe. Hmm. Alright, so they're just gonna pass. No, they're gonna poke me for 100, and then they're gonna pass. Couldn't they have just poked me for 11, though? I'm not sure. Uh, yeah, that's really bad. That's that's quite bad. <laughs> it's probably one of the worst draws we have. And now we can't even... Yeah, we still can't bubble man now, too. That's sad. Oh, they have a swap left, right? Why didn't they go through all of them last turn, actually? That just leaves a bad top deck in their deck. Did they do it for the 1100 this turn? But why didn't they do the 1100 last turn? I'm a little bit perplexed, actually, by this line of play. Don't you just attack with all of them, or what? Alright. Makes Goyo. We take 28. That's fine. Uh, wow, that's unfortunate. Well, we do have to go for it at this point. I think we just take Stratos, right? Stratos. And then... Stratos get Maui. Stack for Plague. And make Bryonic. And go... Pitch one. Pitch two. And then we have the Dark Creator set up for next turn. So, um... This isn't looking too bad here. I, we are dead to Rekindling, I guess. That's the only card we're dead to, I think, though. I guess Brain Control, too. Technically, if they put both their guys in attack. Okay, they did draw a Monarch. But that's fine, because we aren't dead to this. 
Although we will be dead to any subsequent Caius, which is a little bit scary. Um, let me think. Yeah, let's just do it. And then we get rid of... Uh, we get rid of... Malicious to summon this. And then attack. Alright. Now it's what? Caius Rekindling is the only things that kill us. That is five cards, though. We, we probably should just try to end the game fast. Maybe I should have put the Dark Creator in attack. But, like, then, if I put in attack, I'm dead to, like, any... Literally any Monarch, because of um, him being small. So, it's like a trade-off there. Okay, we're not dead to this. Ooh, that's bad. <laughs> that is so bad. Okay, um... Well, okay, we, we banish this, bring this back... Effect of this, send this. Send Necro Gardner, which greatly reduces the amount of top decks we fold to. <laughs> okay. Then you over you. You over you. Okay, he did set the dupe. Actually, I thought I see I thought I saw him set the card he drew. Does that mean he drew the second dupe or maybe I'm just crazy. Alright, so now it's Caius, and Rekindling messes uh, us up pretty bad, but I don't know that it kills us. <laughs> that does not kill me. If he had drawn it earlier, it would have killed me, though. Okay, that does kill us. I don't know why he didn't just slam that, actually. <laughs> that, that was... One of the only two cards in this deck that killed me. I believe there were two removing. It was just Caius, right? Oh well, we skated by for a while there, so we can't be too upset. Um. Okay. How do I want to do this? E-Call gets Stratos get um plasma and then trade in plasma draw one draw two okay those are some pretty good draws and then we just wait a turn I think Oh, that sucks. Oh, no. Why does he always have it, man? <laughs> yeah, okay. We have some We have some gas, though. It's good, it's good. I got dogged all three games. Okay, Stardust. That's scary, because it means he might have back row. No, he's just rekindling again. That's interesting. Um, hmm. So he's just going to summon two guys, or? Okay, there is a back row. Only one, though. Draw Miracle Fusion. At this point, I think we do a lore. Draw one, draw two. And I think the Dark Creator has to go, unfortunately. All right, let's think about this logically. Is there... Okay, I can Rota for Gardner, maybe. I think that's probably the play. And then we go Pitch U to Special U. Priority. Send U. Send... Plague Spreader? Um... Okay. 
Now, what do we do? <laughs> I guess we go for the plague play. So we go plague. Okay, it gets booked. That makes life very easy. Uh, we might still want a Mally, though. Just to, like, clear my top deck. <laughs> I really don't want to draw into Gold Sark, you know? Yeah, I think I will. I think I will just to avoid drawing the Gold Sark. And then we summon you, activate Miracle Fusion, banish you, and then... I guess the Stratos. So you. We're gonna wanna crash into Stardust. And then we're going to attack with you. Okay, that wasn't terrible. Wasn't great, wasn't terrible. I don't know, maybe there was some goofy Bubble Man thing I could have done. I'm not actually sure, because I, I just needed it for the for the Miracle Fusion is the thing. Okay, he's going to summon that. I think we Gardna at this point. Seems pretty appropriate. Alright, here we're going to want to go... Do we use this Greffer? I don't think I do. I think the Gorge is actually just pretty valuable. <laughs> uh, maybe we just attack with everything. Or I could make Thought Ruler gain 14. I could make Thought Ruler and Goyo. And Ab Zero. Do I have a lethal line, actually? I probably do. All right, wait, let's make... Colossal. And then stack for Plague. And then activate Miracle Fusion. I don't know if that's game or not. I might have done some bad math here. <laughs> Uh, how big is the... Colossal's gonna gain at least... It's gonna gain 300? I don't know. Let's find out. So we go you over you. It's 14. It should be game, right? It's, like, not even particularly close. Yeah. Alright, that was interesting. That was fun. We didn't get to do the Bubble Man thing, which kind of sucks. But I think the concept is pretty good, um, definitely for the most part. So I had fun for sure. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to let me know what you thought in the comment section, and I will see you next time as always. As always, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Furthermore, if you enjoy my content, you should think about becoming a channel member. You get access to tons of bonus content, and it's a great way to help support the channel.